and welcome to Sparrow's World. And today, oh, I'm quite excited for this one. Um, we're gonna have a little test. We are gonna pit the Dimetrodon. There we are against the air conditioner. Now, I've had quite a few comments after my last video or one of my videos um, on the worst dinosaurs. How I said the Dimetrodon was basically the worst dinosaur. Lots of people telling me that it's an amazing air conditioner. Blah blah blah. So um, I'm quite happy to be proved wrong. So I thought I'd do a little test. Let's put some uh, some tests in place or words which are better than that. Then anyway, let's do it. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I've spawned some Dimetrodons in. Um, I've dotted them all around a little bit. Uh, now I thought when I'm spawning them in, I thought, well, what level should I spawn in? Does it make a difference? So here's the first test. Okay, we're going to run to where there are no Dimetrodons. Right, so for the, the test here, I'm nowhere near any of the uh, Dimetrodons. I'm Hypo 41 and Hypothermal 41 as well. So, uh, right, there we go. Let's go stand next to a Dimetrodon. Right, as you can see, this is a level 6 Dimetrodon, so I'm going to stand next to this one. And straight away, you can see it's pretty much gone up. So I'm 122 two and 123, 123 one, on both. So that's for a level 6. What about a level 120? Here we go, I've got my level 120 tamed, so that came to 180. So if I stand by there, bear in mind that the 6s were 123. Wow, okay, um, I'm up at 152, 152. Now, there are obviously going to be slight changes with the, the time of day and weather, but let's um, let's go back over here. Let's see what we are all the way over here. Now, originally we were 41, 41, was it? There we are, 41, 41. So that tells me straight away that the higher the level the Dimetrodon you have, the more you know hypo and uh, hyperthermal resistance you'll have. Now let's just check this one. So 88, and I am 88 tamed, so it's 150. The other way, Stego. Six tame, and it's 121, one, so that's less. And then the big boy or girl, whatever it is over here. Wait for it to uh, move. 156. There we go. So the level of your Dimetron does actually dictate the hypothermal and uh, hypothermal insulation. That's something I didn't know. So there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop um, an egg down next to the Dimetron and see how many of these we're going to need to um well to incubate now according to the wiki the quetzal is the egg which has the lowest temperature and other than the wyvern or wyvern however you want to say it the dimorphodon randomly is the highest temperature um, again according to the wiki so i've got eggs of both so i will pop down um, a quetzal egg and we'll do the cold first right so here we go um quetzal egg going down next to one dimetrodon Oh, and it's, uh, it's gone in there. I didn't really want that. Uh, let's go around here. We go. That's a better job. Too hot. So it is still too hot. So I'm going to pick that egg up. Let's go and grab one of the other Dimetrons. Okay, so we've got two in here now. We've got a low level and a high level. Let's pop this egg down. It's going to move a little bit, but what are you doing? Still too hot. Okay. Still too hot? Yeah, still too hot. So, right, let's grab another one. Right, there we go, I've got four in here now, there we go, I put four down and it has just started to incubate. So if I go into here, I'm going to uh, go into inventory and have a little look. So we're up at, what, 370, 370, surrounded by roughly four Dimetrodons. Now, again, the temperature is going to change, it's going to get night time, it's going to get colder. But yeah, basically we need four Dimetrodons, um, mixed level, granted, uh, four Dimetrodons to get a leg, the coldest one, to incubate. There's a fourth around here, I promise. There, look, see, here we go. Okay, guys, so we're going to test the air conditioner now. Um, and as a, as a test base, here we go. I'll run over here. Make sure we're far enough away from the air conditioner effects. Uh, I'm going to go to inventory, and we're at, we're at 41 again. 41, 41. So, let's see what the air conditioner does. I'll stand right in front of it. Here we go, 155, 155. So, yeah, that is roughly the same as the high level um, Dimitron. To be fair, that is roughly the same level. In fact, it's possibly a touch lower. 
So we've got our Quetzal egg. I'm going to drop this, drop that down, and I think we're going to have the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be too hot. So I'm going to put another couple of air cons down, and uh, we'll see how many it takes. So there we go. We've got, uh, I tried it with three, I tried it with two, uh, four air conditioners, exactly the same as the uh, Dimetrodons. Sorry, I was going to say Dimorphodons. That's, that's not the one. Dimetrodons. Um, exactly the same. Four of each for the Quetzal, for the coldest. Let's just have a little look at my... Um, so it's 458 versus 458. So that's what we've got over there. And then just for a quick reference, um, the air cons are 458. Granted, it's in the middle of them all. It's very hard to place these, but this is a little bit lower over here. So um, I'm going to say the air cons do provide a touch more, unless you had, I guess, we've, we've already proved the stats that if we had um, 180s next to that one, it was the same as one air con. Okay, so that's for the cold eggs. Now, what about the hot eggs? So let's uh, let's try the dimorph eggs. I'm just going to clear some of these out of the way. Okay, so I got my two dimorphs. I'm going to have a quick look. Uh, 257, 257. So let's see if two dimorphs will do the dimorph egg. This thing is tiny, so hopefully it doesn't. No, it's too cold. Oh no, it's incubating. So um, okay, let's pick that back up. Right, I just want to see if we can get away with one really high level di um, damage run for the Dimorph Egg. All these Ds, honestly. So no, that is too cold. So let's go and get the second one back. Okay, so let's just check this down, make sure that wasn't a bit of a fluke last time. Too cold. Okay, yeah, there's obviously a bit of a temperature increase. So, um, right, let's go and get a third. There we go, there we go, Incubate, incubating with three. And we've got the mix of the levels as well, we've got the low, the medium and the high level uh, Dimetrodon. Sorry, I do apologise for getting these all mixed up, there's too many Ds. <laughs> okay then, now for the air cons, let's see how many it takes uh, for to do the, uh, the hot egg. Nope, that one is too cold. Two air cons. And uh, it says it's incubating. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think we're right on the border, see, these these two. So I'm going to um, just put a third one down. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Right in the middle, no problem incubating. So I think um, I think it's fair to say they're about they're about equal really um, between the Dimetrodons and the air conditioners, which it's, it has surprised me. I'm not not gonna lie, I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um, so I'm gonna pick this egg up. Um, I want to do one last test. Okay, so the last test I just want to check out. Um, I'm at 41 for both, which has been standard in this place. Now I still stand by, despite what this outcome is, they're both pretty much similar, that this is the worst dinosaur in Ark for taming. As I said, it lives in the swamp, it takes all those narco berries um, and narcotics, and it eats Quetzal kibble. But, but, what if you don't need to tame them? What if you can build a pen, drop some in, and it's going to incubate for you? So all you need is an RG, and if you have picked dinosaurs up, so not on an official PVE. Um, what if you can pick them up, put them in a pen, and tame your eggs? Because they're not aggressive. They might eat your egg. Let's find out. My, I mean, my. I'm here. I'm amongst them all. And yeah, I've got decent high stats on hypo and uh, hyper. So, um. Oh, a moment of truth. Oh, I can't get to it. Let's have a look. It's incubating. That's amazing. Um, uh, my world has just changed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Build yourself a pen. Put Dimetrodons in it. Um, except I can't get my egg now. It's going to hatch and it's going to die. But that, that small point apart. Um, they do work. They work even not tamed. So this could actually be a viable strategy. Um, yeah, so that was the Dimetrodon egg. Let's try with the Quetzal egg. I don't want to lose this egg, so let's drop it there. Too hot. Incubating. There we go. Wow. So you don't even need to tame them to get the benefit. That is actually 
quite good. <laughs> um, I've surprised myself. As I said at the start of the video, I'm quite happy to be proved wrong. still think it's one of the top five worst dinosaurs to tame, definitely. But if I can't build air conditioners, and I haven't got Quetzal Kibble, and I just want to pick them up, I can build a pen, then this is what to do. We want to hatch some eggs. Look at this. I, this, this is... This is game breaking arc right here. Here we go. Brand new. I mean, I, I generally didn't know this. Um, so hopefully this is going to help some of you. Okay, guys. Well, there we go. Um, we've learned some things. Oh, I certainly have learned some things. The um, the level of the Dimetrodon matters, uh, which I didn't know. And also, you don't even need to tame them to get the bonus. Just chuck them in a pen like this. Um, they can't get out for single things. Chuck your ink fertilized eggs in, and where you go. So yeah, um, I am sorry, Dimitron. Maybe you're not quite as useless as I originally thought, um, but you're still going to stay number one on my list because, well, you just are. So um, yeah, there we go, guys. Um, I hope that helps. So you don't need to actually go and tame the Dimitrons to get the the use from them, um, which does make them more useful. Um, yeah, there we go. Wow, thank you very much for watching. I hope that helps. Um, uh, if you like the video, please leave a... Uh, please, please, um, I've lost words. I'm so shocked. <laughs> uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe for more. Excellent. Thank you. Have fun.